Good morning, everyone. We're out here the next day, getting ready to flip through some junk and hopefully find some snakes. So I'm gonna put the GoPro on, we're gonna get to flipping and I will let you guys know how this goes. That is one of the tiniest salamanders I've ever seen. I'm assuming that's a garden slender, but I really, I don't know. He's so small. Look at this. <laughs> He's microscopic. Look at that thing go. That carpet looks nice. Okay. Yeah. Just give it one of these. Hook man. The layer though. A hat. Stop while we're ahead. Here's a Ruber. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's my lifer red diamond rattlesnake. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Listen to that snake hissing at us. So these guys are actually the only protected rattlesnake in Southern California. So we're not gonna mess with him any more than we have to to get a couple quick photos and we're just gonna leave him alone. But. This is our lifer red diamond rattlesnake. Superficially, they resemble our Aatrox that we see a lot of in West Texas, and even a little bit the Eastern Diamondbacks back home, but really cool rattlesnakes. This guy is not as red as they come. They come a lot more red colored than this. This guy's kind of dull actually, but still a really cool looking rattlesnake and our lifer red diamond. So we're just gonna take a couple quick photos and see what else we can turn up. But first snake of the day, a nice red diamond rattlesnake. Hopefully we'll see a couple of these guys today. So we're just gonna leave this guy alone and keep flipping. Uh, hello, Rai. Yeah. He's cool. He is. Oh. <laughs> Scary. Well, there's our next snake of the day. Nice Southern Pacific rattlesnake. Not quite as pretty to me as the ones we saw up in the mountains, but a different looking snake nonetheless. Really cool. But second snake of the day, both have been rattlesnakes so far. We're just gonna leave this guy to it though, and keep flipping. Nice Southern Pacific rattlesnake. This is probably like our ninth or 10th of the trip at this point. We've been seeing a lot of them. But it is the first one we found in this area, so pretty cool. He's what? <laughs> Oh my god. What the f That's He's one of the coolest amazing. things I've ever seen. So my dad found this San Diego alligator lizard. This guy is awesome. I don't know how well the color is gonna come through, but he's got beautiful blue colors. There's bees flying around me. Look at this lizard. I mean this thing is so awesome. He got his mouth open. What's up, dude? He attack! What an awesome animal. I know I've talked about this on the channel before, but these guys are closely related to glass lizards. They're basically just legged glass lizards for all intents and purposes. Come here. But definitely my favorite group of lizards in the US, the Anguids. We have some really good ones. Glass lizards, alligator lizards. They're all cool. Basking? Oh, yeah. Oh. Very nice. There's a Hellerai on the crawl. He's a lot darker than the one we found 
just over there. Very nice, good looking snake. We still got this, I'm gonna take photos of this guy, so we're gonna walk back to the car. But very nice. Southern Pacific rattlesnake number two for the day on the crawl. So we're out in this kind of open field area and Stephen looks up the road and says, that's a big snake. Sure enough, there was a coach whip in the road. Look at the belly on that thing though. We're gonna double check on the species for this guy, uh, but really beautiful snake. I love me a good coach whip, so really awesome. This is such a cool snake from the banding to that really cool black on the neck. And then you've got those big coach whip eyeballs, which I always love. And then uh, the belly is red, very, very red, pinkish more so. Look at that color, it's ridiculous. That's so unnatural looking, really awesome. Very cool snake. We're finding a ton of stuff at this spot, so I'm just gonna let this guy go and we're gonna keep at it. So awesome. Steven just flipped this board in the road and underneath it was a, uh, our life for rosy boa. Look at that. <laughs> you happy, Stove? I'm giggling, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is so awesome. This is so different from anything I have ever found in the wild before. So, along with California kings, this was the big target for the day. So, that is a huge weight off of our shoulders. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna take some pictures. All right guys, well hopefully you can hear me because of the wind, but this was one of the big targets for the trip and uh, one of the, the coolest herp species in this region. One of the most special and unique herps that California has. I know they are actually a fairly common snake around here, but they're just so unique, so variable so cool. And that definitely makes the trip for me. It's so alien. Just completely unlike anything we ever find on this channel. And so beautiful too. That coloration is amazing. <laughs> He's very curious about my camera. What a weird place for him to be. That's our second Ruber of the day. All right, we're gonna uncover this guy a little better. Get a better look at him. Oh, he's nice. Look at that. Beautiful. That, like, highlighted? Yeah, we're gonna cover this beauty back up. But second red diamond rattlesnake of the day, right next to our life of Rosie Boa. Stephen found a diamond back, or a red diamond. Look at that guy. What's up, buddy? Is that not the hole for you? Number three for the day. And a good snake to end the day on if we don't see anything else. What's up, dude? It's ridiculous how like unbothered he is by us just hanging out with him. Yeah, he's, he's just gonna come right back in the way he came out <laughs> and go right back into his hole. He just came out to see what was happening in the evening. he's gonna crawl past me so you can see how inoffensive these guys really are you can see he's right there these are some nice trail lance I don't know why they caught my attention but they did 
hard at work. But it's getting kind of late out here, so that Ruber might end up being our last snake of the day, and I'm perfectly fine with that. It's been a good one. All right, guys, well, we're back down in the low desert. Um, we're staying down here tonight, and we're gonna do a little bit of road cruising before we call it a day. It has been a very eventful uh, day to be sure, so we're kind of exhausted, but we're gonna do a quick pass since it's warmer down here, at least warm enough for snakes to be out, and if we see anything, I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, so once again, it was super windy in the low desert, so I'm doing a quick voiceover, but we did end up seeing another Sidewinder that night. Uh, it was this beautiful little juvenile who had a really cool little stripe down the first third of his neck. The temperature was super cool that night, so we didn't see too much else. I think we got another glossy, which I'll show here in a second. But it was a nice way to wrap up what was a really fantastic day all around. We saw great diversity, good numbers, and really just a day exploring new places is always a day well spent. And we got to see a lot of cool stuff in this episode. And here was our only other snake of the night. This is a little desert glossy snake. They ended up being the most common snake we saw on this road over the course of the trip. But that was the last thing we saw that night. All right, guys, well, we're wrapping up. Only two snakes tonight. One of them was a really cool looking little sidewinder. And we've still only seen a couple of those. So they're really exciting for us. But fantastic day all around. We're going to hit the hotel and get to sleep because we have another long day coming up tomorrow where hopefully we will be finally finding some king snakes. But we're going to go get some rest, and I will see you guys in the morning, but that will be a different episode. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.